Hey everyone, it's Bailey and welcome back to another Makeup Bag Monday. This is my weekly Shop My Stash series where I test out five products for a full week and report back on how they performed. Trying out something a little different with the lighting, so let me know what you think. But this week we were officially kicking off the fall vibes with some fall inspired makeup. And, spoiler, it was a pretty good week, gotta say. So, let's just go ahead and get into the products that we used this week. Alright, so let's start with the eyeshadow I used this week. I was using Subculture from Anastasia. This came out a couple of years ago now, right? Two years, three years ago? And this was such, like, a dramatic purchase because nobody but maybe, like, three people like this. But I actually don't think it's too bad. And I love the color story. I think this is just the most perfect fall palette ever. Obviously use it for my look today. I've been using it all week for work and I've been really enjoying it. Is it the most like, easy to work with palette? Absolutely not. You definitely have to baby these shadows. You have to take your time with them, blend them out softly, but you do get a really cool unique look. Um, but something I will say about this palette that you probably will notice in today's video and the demo that I did today, you do kind of have to be careful when you're mixing the colors because these are more or less like pigments. It's kind of like mixing paints where if you mix the wrong colors they turn like a little bit muddy on you. So for example today I used the shade New Wave in my crease which is this really pretty mustard yellow and then I put Destiny which is like a sagey green kind of on top of it and those two mixed together don't necessarily make the prettiest color but like we made it work and it's fine but that's one of the big things with this palette is you do have to be careful when you're like mixing and matching and there is a lot of fallout so I would definitely suggest doing your eyeshadow first then base just for cleanup purposes but overall I think this is a really good palette and I feel like you can find these for dirt cheap now because not a lot of people like it so if you can find it for a really good price and you like the color story and you're willing to work with the palette then I would suggest it now if you're somebody who isn't willing to work for your eyeshadow totally get it avoid this palette because you would get so frustrated but it is really pretty for fall and for mascara this week I was using the hourglass caution can't talk the hourglass caution mascara and I forgot how much I like this this gives you killer volume it makes your like the base of your lashes just look so thick but it does get a little clumpy so if you're not into the more clumpy look like nothing crazy it's not like spider lashes but it does get a little clumpy if you're not into it then you probably wouldn't like it but for me I think it looks really really good especially with this more kind of fall grungy vibe I think it works um, and this is one of those mascaras that I think it is kind of worth the higher price I know I never say that just because the packaging number one feels very luxe it's really heavy it's a cool shape and the actual mascara works really really well I really like the wand it's different than a few other you know more drugstore more drugstore a few other drugstore I mean maybe it's not the bristles are just a little bit more short and dense and I feel like that's why you can get such good volume especially at the base of your lips lashes. It doesn't smudge or flake, which is awesome, but it still comes off pretty easy with eye makeup remover. And yeah, it's a really good mascara, not gonna lie. Now let's move on to face products I was using this week. First things first is a face primer. This is the Becca Backlight Priming filter. This has been a favorite of mine for the longest time and then I like lost it and totally forgot I even used it in my life. I know crazy how stuff like that happens. So we busted it back out this week and how did I forget how much I love this stuff? Seriously it is so good. If you are looking to get that like glow from within look without adding any extra like greasy or shimmer or you know something like that to your complexion this is it. Seriously, it just gives you the most pretty, like, iridescence, and I used it over a ton of different foundations. Today, I'm wearing the It Cosmetics CC Cream, something with a little bit more coverage, but I've used it with a BB cream, tinted moisturizer, my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, so varying coverage levels, and I think, you know, it works well with everything, and I just, I can't believe I forgot all about it, so if you used to love this like I did, and then, you know, you just got overwhelmed with all the new Go after this. Seriously, it is so good. I mean, look at my skin. I feel like I look like super glowy and pretty. So 
we love that. And then for concealer, I was using the Tarte Priceless Concealer. This I do enjoy too. Um, it's definitely a very thick concealer, so the way I like to apply it is I first apply it with the wand, and then I tap it out with my fingers a little bit just to kind of warm it up and make it a little bit easier to blend, and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. And I think it looks really good. It gives really good coverage. It's a little bit more hydrating, but it is clinging to dry patches. Sad. I have one over here story of my life and I mean it's not like awful there are definitely worse concealers out there but it is still clinging nonetheless um, it doesn't crease though so that's good and I mean it does last all day the only issue really with this concealer is the fact that it is clinging to the dry spot but I mean 99% of concealers do unless it's super super hydrating so that's kind of like a eh, eh, but overall pretty okay concealer all right, and finally, the last thing we use this week is the blush from Benefit. This is Benefit's Dallas, and this is an oldie but a goodie. And it's definitely one of those blushes that you look at it in the pan and you're just like, what? Like, this doesn't look like it's going to do any favors for me because it's just really, really, like, dull and dark. Kind of like, I don't know, it just doesn't have, like, pop to it. But on the cheeks, it looks absolutely gorgeous it gives you a really pretty rosy flush without being too artificial looking the tone of it just looks really natural on the skin so I really enjoyed it and I think it looks really good with my fall tones I mean it kind of has that bronzy element but with enough rose in there where it makes it like neutral I don't know what else to say about the blush I like it though I guess it's one of those don't judge book by its cover situations because on the skin it looks so good and with that said, those are all the products I used for this week's Makeup Bag Monday. Overall, it was a pretty successful week, I gotta say. The only thing that was like slightly not great would be the concealer clinging to the dry patch under my eye. Um, but if you don't have dry under eyes, you're blessed and you don't have to worry about it. Other than that, it's a fantastic concealer. Blush was awesome. Eyeshadow worked great. Um, mascara, killer. And the primer fantastic. So overall, like a solid A week. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the products that we're going to be using this week. So let's start with foundation. Sure. So I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour foundation. I guess that's just all it's called. This is a good full coverage foundation for dry skin because it doesn't cling as much as a more traditional full coverage would. So I'm going to use this this week. And for face this week, I'm going to be using my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This has a little sculpting powder slash bronzer and then a highlighter. And I think that these will both look really good this week. So we're going to use that. For eyeshadow, I'm busting out my Tartlet Toasted Palette because it's fall and this is one of my favorite fall palettes. It's just a really pretty warm tone. Kind of matches my sweater. So we're going to use this this week. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. I really like this. It reminds me actually a lot of the Hourglass one because it gives really, really good volume. Um, but I think the brush is a little different. Oh, yeah. The brush is way different. It is way fluffier and has an hourglass shape. But it does still give really good volume. So I'm going to use this. And then finally, for brows, since I used up my CoverGirl eyebrow pencil, it's time to try something new. And I went through my collection and I forgot that I own this. This is the one. Wonder brow and it is literally like a liquid brow pomade and I remember really liking this so I'm gonna use this this week and see how that goes so it's like full makeup round two so hopefully everything works out let me know what you think of the products that I use this week let me know if you like your subculture palette if you own it I'm very curious to know if it's just me or if the you know notion still stands true that nobody likes it except for three people in America um, but yeah, that is everything for today's video. If you want to see more Makeup Bag Monday videos, I will put a playlist right up here. Or if you would like to watch another video of mine, I'll put another one down here for you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It's free, it's kind, and it makes my day. So you can click up here and do that, and it's like, seriously, it makes my day. Um, but that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I will see you guys next time.